Last match, um, uh, going in, I knew it was going to be tough. I was dealing with an injury. I had my leg taped straight because I couldn't really bend it. So I had just go out there and battle. And uh, that match was just who had more heart. And I felt I went out there and just did what I do and got a cradle and got the win. Was there ever any question about whether or not you were going to wrestle in that last match? Because it sure looked like you weren't moving very well after your consolation semifinal. Yeah, definitely. It definitely crossed my mind. Uh, wasn't, it didn't look very good. I couldn't really move very well. I had a couple people tell me, you know, it's okay if you want to, if you want to injury default, you know, it's not going to make you any less of a man or whatever, but uh, I just went out there, you know, it was my last high school match of my career. I wasn't, I wasn't going to leave it to an injury default. So, where's it go from here? Wrestling, baseball, track? Uh, going to, yeah, going to go run track. Where at? Just for high school. I'm not playing sports in college. Oh, okay. Very good, so just enjoy it while you can, I guess. Take yep. it, Describe that combination in that fifth place match, uh, how you're able to lock up the pin. Uh, well, just as I've gone out, gone through high school, my bread and butter has been a cradle on top. I've won many matches with it, and so when I got choice in the second, couldn't really move very well. No, no brainer, I was going to go top. And uh, broke him down, he came up, and I saw an opportunity to hit a cross face cradle and locked it up for the pin. When did that cradle really become a strength for you? Uh, sophomore year, I started hitting it a lot. And just as, as the year's gone on, the amount of times I've hit it, it's just gotten better and better. And it uh, got me two fifth place state finishes, so. Well, I think it was, what, maybe the quarterfinals, you were down 4-0 and, and used a cradle to win that one? Yep. Describe that match. Uh, I, I just knew, you know, I'm never out of it. As long as I get a chance on top, there's always, there's always a way that I can uh, slap a cradle on and, and get a win, so. These last few years have been really, really successful for you. What's the sport of wrestling meant to you? Uh, it's meant the world to me. Spent all all year, the last couple of years, you know, preparing, trying to win a state title, which didn't get it done. But you know, I feel like I uh, I made my family proud, I made my community proud with the way that I've wrestled the last couple of years, and uh, that's enough for me. And we're talking to you just a few minutes after Caden Stutzman won out and won his. How much fun was that to see? Oh, it was awesome. I'm super, super excited for Caden. We both talked about all year going and winning state titles and I wasn't able to get the job done but he was and I'm super excited for him he's been a leader of the team all year last couple years and uh he's put in a lot of work and he, he deserved that yeah what advice would you give the underclassmen uh, now coming up uh, those that qualified for state those that are aspiring to be uh Atlantic uh, Trojans in the future uh you get you get out what you put into it the more you work the better you're going to get and uh, I really started working hard after my, my sophomore year. I didn't make it to state, and I felt I was good enough to. And uh, that took me to a fifth-place finish as a junior and a fifth-place finish as a senior, and I can't be more happy with that.